So you want to make these delicious scrumptious cookie dough balls? They're vegan friendly and they taste really good. Keep watching to find out how you can make my delicious scrumptious cookie dough balls today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in this big wide world in which we live in. Today I thought I would do something a little bit different. I don't usually come downstairs and film in my kitchen, but because this is a cooking video, I thought you can't really cook in the bedroom, so we're in my kitchen. I haven't actually done any cooking videos on my channel, I don't think, but you guys have been in my kitchen before if you've been on this channel for a while. I've done a few gingerbread making videos down here, but I thought today I would make one of my favorite recipes that I'm absolutely loving at the moment. So you guys may or may not know, I went to Costa Rica to do some ayahuasca ceremonies. And before I went, I had to follow quite a strict diet in regards to preparing my body to do the ayahuasca. I ended up buying a cookbook that was written by the head chef at the resort and trying out a few of the recipes. And and today I'm going to share with you my very favorite recipe in this book. So the book is called Miracle Meals and it's by Chef Meg. Her name's Meg Pearson if you guys are interested. I bought this on Amazon and it's basically filled with a bunch of really healthy plant-based recipes. Today I'm going to share with you guys a really yummy, delicious, sweet alternative. If you guys like your chocolate, if you like your sweet treats, I have a really good recipe to share with you guys today that is a lot healthier. It doesn't have any added sugar. The only sugar I'm using in this recipe is from honey. If you are vegan, you can also also make this recipe completely vegan friendly. You can use agave syrup or you can use maple syrup instead of the honey. So it's also a really good vegan friendly recipe as well. So without further ado, the recipe I'm going to share with you guys today is these delicious cookie dough balls. Oh my gosh. I literally replaced my chocolate addiction with these and I'm hooked. I love them. They don't have the same amount of calories and sugar that chocolate does or cake or whatever your go-to sweet treat is. So you feel a little bit better about snacking on these if you're craving something sweet. So if you guys want to see how I make my very favorite sweet treat, uh, these delicious cookie dough balls, then just keep watching. So I'm going to run through the ingredients you will need to make this delicious recipe. So the first thing you will need is some sort of nut butter. The recipe says cashew butter. I've tried this with almond butter as well. My mum preferred the almond butter. Any nut butter will do. It kind of matches my beanie as well. But for this video, I'm going to be sticking to the recipe and using cashew butter. You can switch out different ingredients in this recipe if you can't find them or if you prefer one thing over another. Or if you're vegan, you can also make this recipe vegan friendly if you don't consume honey. The next thing you're going to need is almond flour. Almond meal, almond flour, same thing. Next, you're going to need some honey. I like to use honey that's as organic and pure as possible. It just adds a lot of sweetness to the balls and <laughs> It adds a lot of sweetness to the recipe and if you are vegan, yet again, you can use agave syrup uh, or maple syrup. I haven't tried this recipe with any of those, so if you do try this recipe with those, let me know how it goes because I'm thinking of maybe eventually going vegan. I'm not sure, so we shall see. You're also going to need some vanilla extract. This particular vanilla extract is concentrated, so I'm going to be using less of this than what the recipe says. You're going to need a pinch of salt. So we're going to be using this Himalayan white crystal rock salt. And the last thing you're going to need is something that adds like a crunchy texture to the bowl. So the recipe gives you two different options for this. I like to use these organic cacao nibs. I must say, if you eat them by themselves, they're really bitter. But once they're in the cookie dough balls, you don't taste the bitterness and it's very like crunchy and it just adds that nice little textural element that you want. An alternative to this would be dark chocolate chips or milk chocolate chips or white chocolate chips or whatever you prefer. I like to try and make this recipe as healthy as possible, so that's why I'm gonna be using the cacao nibs, but if you like your chocolate and you wanna have a little bit in there, then by all means, use some chocolate chips. Now that we have run through everything you'll need for this recipe, let's get started. I've got my large bowl, which we're gonna mix all our ingredients in. The recipe does say to place the ingredients in a food processor, but I don't have one of those. I guess maybe a blender could do as well, but personally, I like to just put it all in a bowl and mix it through with a big spoon. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. Obviously, using a food processor will save you the manual labor, but you gotta put in that effort for them cookie dough balls. So we're gonna be mixing it by hand, but if you have a food processor, feel free to use that. This recipe also has three steps, so it's really easy. You don't have to be a master chef in the kitchen. It's super convenient. It takes about 10 minutes to make. It's very quick, easy. So if you're a busy human being and you're on the go, then this is a really nice thing to just Make quickly, pop it in the fridge. When you come home, your balls will be ready for you to snack on. Also, if you guys hear any wind, it is really windy here in Sydney today, so don't mind that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure everything out and we're gonna pop our ingredients into this bowl. So the first ingredient we need to work with is our cashew butter. Oh, this, this is gonna be a struggle. Oh, 
I'm a strong lady. I'm actually just gonna grab a spoon. I'm in my daggiest attire. Side note, if you guys have been here on my channel for a long time, you'll know that I love sloths. They are my favorite animal. And on my feet, I'm wearing sloth slippers. Yep, it's a sloth hugging itself and being the cute little sloth that it is. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? I don't know how to show you, but they're cute, right? They're nice, they're like. So I'm just gonna be measuring out three quarters of a cup of cashew butter. Ooh, it's quite solid. That's what she said. So we've got our three quarters of a cup of cashew butter and we're just gonna be popping that into our bowl. BRB, just going to rinse my little my little cup out. Now we are going to get our almond flour and we are going to measure out two and a half cups of this. The girl has made a mess. Chuck it in there. We're gonna hear a lot of banging in this video. Sorry, not sorry. And in she goes. Next we are gonna need six tablespoons. Next, you're going to need six tablespoons of honey or agave syrup or, or maple syrup or whatever you're using as an alternative. I don't have nails, so it's really hard to get in there like swimwear. I'm the last person you should ask if you ever need help opening something. Oh, actually, that didn't turn out too badly. Mm -mm -mm, look at that sweet, sweet nectar. Just let it drip for a while so I don't make more of a mess than I already have. So we're going to be measuring out six tablespoons of honey. Drip, 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 drip. Just gonna use my spoon to scrape that off. As you guys can see, I'm not a professional. I'm just a gal in quarantine doing her little thing. All right, three down, three to go. I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera and then we're gonna get to our next ingredient. All right, next up, we have got our vanilla essence or our vanilla extract. It says to use two teaspoons of this, but this is a particularly strong one. <laughs> Speaking of strong, I'm not very. So I'm just gonna use a couple of drops. It's quite syrupy actually, so we're just gonna tap the lid, give it a little tap tap. And then the final ingredient we're gonna need is just a pinch of salt. So I'm just gonna do a little grind. And last but not least, we're gonna get our organic cacao nibs and measure out a cup of these. So I haven't filled up the whole cup, but I'm just gonna use this amount. I feel like it just started looking like a bit too much. And then we're just gonna sprinkle those in. Mostly cacao nibs right now, but I'm going to mix it all together. And then we're gonna mold it into some balls and pop it on this tray. I personally like to use a silicone spatula. Oh my gosh, beauty guru, this is my silicone spatula. It's really good at painting the face. You can use your hands if you want. Um, I might resort to doing that depending on how well this mixes. But yeah, I'm just basically gonna fold this and mix it all together. As you guys can see, it's very flowery right now. So we really need to get like a sticky consistency. That's what we're aiming for. I'll check in with you guys when that has been achieved. Not gonna lie, this is quite a workout. So if you guys want to do some at-home workouts during quarantine and bake yummy things at the same time, then this is your perfect option, really. Because... Whew. It's starting to get that dough-like consistency. Now, you gotta try before you buy, so... Honey, be quiet! Mmm. I'm gonna go wash my hands before I start to mold these into little bowls. All right, so we're down to the molding stage of the recipe. I'm gonna use my hands and mold this into little balls. You guys can choose however big you want your balls. If you like big balls, make big balls. If you like little balls, make little balls. I kind of like to do them, I like to make them like that big. Decent amount of girth. I've made the switch from chocolate and unhealthy sweet snacks to these cookie dough balls and they are a game changer. Okay, let's roll the sleeves up because it's getting real. And ball number one. And yes, my hands are clean. I feel like this recipe requires you to get, get, get a bit dirty, get your hands in there. So that's what we're doing. All right, this is gonna take some time. So I am probably gonna do a couple more on camera and then I'll do the rest off camera. I like to just give them like a proper mold and squeeze before I roll them just so I can make sure they're not too floury and that all the ingredients have mixed well together. All right, we have officially finished molding all our cookie dough balls. That batch made 22. Yum, 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 yum. I don't know if you guys were like how I was when I was a kid, but I would always buy like cookie dough and then just eat it raw. I really enjoyed it. So I guess this recipe is a little bit of a spin-off of eating raw cookie dough, but in ball form. So now we're on to the final step. Once you've molded your balls, it is time to put them in the fridge. I like to leave them in the fridge for about, I don't know, a minimum of like 20 minutes, half an hour, just so they can harden a little bit. You could eat them like this, but they are quite soft and squishy, and I prefer it when they're nice and firm. So we're gonna pop these in the fridge. 
So they are now in the fridge. And that's it. That brings me to the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed cooking with me. I don't know what I'll call it, but I think I'll make it a little series, a little early, a little series. But I think I might make this a little series and share a few little recipes here and there with you guys that I've been enjoying because I don't know about you, but since this isolation, self-isolation quarantine thing, I have been in the kitchen a whole lot more than I usually would be. And I've been trying new recipes and I'm also watching MasterChef at the moment and feeling really inspired. So I thought I would sit down here and share a recipe that I particularly love with you guys here today. One that I feel like is quite doable. It's not too hard, not too many ingredients. It's healthy, it's delicious. I really enjoy having a batch of these in the house at all times. So if I'm feeling like snacking on something a little bit sweet, I go to one of these instead of convenience eating and eating a bar of chocolate. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new and ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos so you don't miss the next one. My camera battery is flashing so I've got to wrap this video up. If you want to follow me on my Instagram, it's at emigrace with three E's. I'll leave it somewhere here. And on that note, I'm going to go but I hope you guys are having a beautiful day wherever you are in this big wide world in which we live in. And I will see you very soon in my next video. I like to use my hands a lot if you can't tell. Welcome to my fridge. Wanna come in? I feel like this is a segment of MTV Cribs. Here is my perfectly organized fridge. So my cookie dough balls are looking good. They're feeling a little bit harder. That's what she said. I'm gonna close this right up and let them chill out in there. So, yeah. I was just doing one giant squat to get that thumbnail and the thighs be burning. Things you do for a good thumbnail, hey. Mm-mm-mm. My delicious balls. And if you stuck around on this channel through my ups, my downs, my absence, and all that sort of stuff, then I really appreciate your head. So, thank you. Also, sorry I'm back. You can't get rid of me that easily. If you have any particular recipes you want me to try or anything like that, leave it down below and I'll be sure to give it a go. Didn't mean for that to rhyme, but a rhyme all the time. Also, I have kicked my family out of the living room, so I think it was about time I wrapped up this video and let them back in because they are banished to another room of the house because I get shy when I film around people and I, yeah, I didn't really feel like filming around them, so, so I kicked them out. Family, you're welcome back inside now. Sorry, not sorry. It sounds really brutal, but girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do to get that video filmed. Don't worry, I did it politely. <laughs> Pardon me. My jumper says girls only. Don't worry, we don't discriminate. This is my queer jumper. For all you ladies out there, I love you.